to get an accurate picture of what the student has done in Compass, use your teacher account to select the Reports tab. On the left hand side, go down to the Odyssey Reports and select Progress Reports to see the different types of progress reports available to you. From this list, for this demonstration, we're going to use the most commonly used progress report, which is the student progress report at the bottom. And to use this, we're going to first enter the settings. You can see at the top that there's a step-by-step -step progression to help you through setting up the report parameters before you run this report. I'm just going to be running this report on our test student, Charlie. So I can even type Charlie Brown for the name of this report. You can see down here that you can select the date range for the last month or certain selected days from start to finish. I'm going to run a report from this period in time, let's take it back to Sunday, up till today. Under the Curricula sub-tab, you can see here that I can choose to see which subjects this report should report on. Since I know Charlie is enrolled in my Social Studies 5 class, and he has only Social Studies curriculum, I'm just going to leave it so that for all. I won't, the report won't be cluttered with additional math or science or, or any other type of information because I know what Charlie's enrolled in. And I'll even leave the, the default set for the grades because I know it's only going to be fifth grade curriculum for social studies that this report is going to be running on. That's the only thing Charlie has. So I'm going to click the assignments area. And typically you can leave all of these settings default as well. However, if you'd like to, feel free to customize. Now, I need to find Charlie here. Now, for this particular demonstration, I'm reviewing, I'm running a report only on one student. However, you can run reports on classes of, in student, of students. Or if you have set up the, the binder feature that is new with Odyssey 2011, you can run reports on different binders that you have created. But to find Charlie and his account, I'm going to click on My Students, and then I will select Charlie's account down here. Now before moving on to the next sub area here, I have to click Add Selected Items. So I'm going to add student Charlie Brown to the different to the list of kids I'm going to be reporting on. Before I click Schedule and Send, if I had tagged Charlie's account with any of the filters when I set up his account, this would be the place where I would apply certain filters to run through and to report on. There are no filters that were applied to this account, so I'm just going to continue with Schedule and Send in it. And you can see different parameters here that are all set. But what's nice is, even though we're going to run this report and get it and get an instant report sent and displayed right to us on this screen, I also have the option of having the report emailed to me now with this system. And if I wanted to, I can include other email recipients here as well. I just have to be sure to use commas to separate email addresses and the system will be sure to email reports to those recipients as well. This is the attachment area here so I'd like to attach the PDF file and if I wanted to I could also attach the comma separated value file which will help me manipulate the data in a spreadsheet application. I can type a message is Charlie's report from Sunday to today. And I can certainly save that and send it along. I'm also going to run this report now. 
and I can choose to run it offline to come back later on or I can run now. Let's run it now and see what Charlie is doing in this report. The next screen that comes up it'll say that the report is generating and when it displays it'll display in a PDF file format. From this particular screen I have the option of viewing um, the PDF format and saving it on my hard drive or I can view the comma separated value format to view in a spreadsheet to sort the data. Let's expand this to full view so we can see what we're dealing with here. As we go down you can see that Art and Religion Quiz was accessed on these two times and dates and that Charlie went right from one attempt at 12.38 in the afternoon to 12.39 in the afternoon. That's probably, why the re that's probably the reason for him getting such a low score. And you can see here that down here if we scroll down the lessons for art and religion were never accessed. So in this particular case Charlie went right to art and religion right away and got those scores. Now if you remember those were the times where Charlie was accessing this curriculum from the basal curriculum as well. So that's why he was able to bypass the lessons and get right to the quizzes. Then we assigned the archived curriculum and you could see down here that we have Life Among the Olmecs is the learning activity and what the Olmecs saw is the other learning activity and judging by the time and date stamps you can see when the activities were were entered. Locations of the Olmec Civilization and then the Olmec Civilization quiz. Again, again down here this is a summary area. This can be pretty much disregarded but it does summarize and averages all of the attempts together which again in standard space grading we're not using so if this report were to be shared with parents, you would probably want to, to uh, explain that area and to disregard the summarizing area at the bottom portion of the screen. So let's close this report. And then we can just click out of here and save. And then if we wanted to, we could save this report and the name. Please enter the name for your reporting template. And then we can close. There we go. That's how you run reports on students and their activity. And as you can see, the saved report is saved up here in this area under My Templates in My Progress Reports. And there's Charlie's template. Now this little button here allows me to delete this saved report if I wanted to or I can rerun it and resend it. If you'd like to receive a report copy in your email, you can always go to the saved report if you saved it and enter the savings uh, settings and then bounce over to the schedule and send tab. From here you'll want to turn on the report by using the radio button that appears over on the left. Turn the status to on and allow the system to update. Once it's updated, as you can see here, schedule and send status is on. Right now, recipients, if any, will receive email reports. So that's what we'll do. We'll hit save. And we'll run this report. However, even with using the email function that's now available in Odyssey 2011, probably one of the fastest ways to get your PDF or your CSV file is to simply save it using these buttons at the top of the report. 
and that's how you can run reports and save reports on a student's progress in Compass.